Well, the series is basically resolved. Jim Richards is champion for year 1991. But boy, do we have a race here today. Mark Skate, the second Nissan team driver, has pole position. But the man who will split the Nissan duo is Peter Perfect, Peter Brock, in the mobile Commodore. As I said to you, Mark Scaife has pole position of 110.60. Absolutely stunning qualifying effort from Peter Brock. He'll share the front row. From three, it's the national champion Jim Richards in the Nissan. From four, John Bauer in the first of the Shell Sierras. From 5.25, Tony Longhurst, the Benson and Hedges BMW. From 6.11, Larry Perkins, the Mobile Commodore. From 7.20, Alan Jones, the second of the Bimmers. From eight, number 30, Glenn Seaton, the Peter Jackson Sierra. From 9.4, Mark Gibbs, the GIO Nissan. From 10, long way back, 16 win Percy, the Holden Racing Team Commodore. Colin Bond starts out of position number 11. Dick Johnson out of position number 12. Steve Reed from 13. From 14, it's Terry Fittigan in the Commodore. 15, Peter Doolman in the BMW. From position number 16, John Cotter. 17, it's John Vernon. From 18, David Thomas in the Corolla. From 19, Dennis Rogers. And from 20, Mike Conway. Just about set for the start. Mark Scaife and Brocky head to head in the grand final at Oran Park Raceway. And we're about three seconds away from the start. Beautiful start. Scape out. Gone. Right alongside of him goes Jimmy Richards who catches Brock. John Bow makes a good start down the outside. And Mark Gibbs also away quickly in the uh, GIO Nissan. But as they come down into the first turn, you'll notice it's John Bouts for them and Brocky under brakes right behind Jimmy Richards, fighting his way past Glenn Seaton and the Peter Jackson Sierra. Good start from Larry Perkins and the number 11 mobile Commodore, and they head down to the right-hander. Terrific start, as you'd expect, from Mark Scaife and the Nissan. John Bow came out very quickly, though, and I was a bit surprised that Peter Brock sat there for a while. Action back in the pack as they sort themselves out. There's Perkins, Wynn Percy, both the BMWs. You can expect the BMWs to come on strong as this race unfolds, judging by the way they performed in qualifying yesterday. In fact, if anyone went backwards in that uh, first couple of corners, it was probably Mark Gibbs. He got off to a brilliant start, but he's been gobbled up by the field. Rocky sat there in absolute wheel spin at the starting line, but he's closed up right behind uh, Jimmy Richards. Escape disappears downhill. Here's Richards coming down on the inside of John Bauer. Bauer is caught one out and one back, and Brock noses the Commodore down the inside as we take mobile race cam, and here's Brocky. And swinging to the inside goes John Bauer as they work away at Richards and the number one Nissan down to the left-hander. Mark Scaife getting away as Richards lines up Bauer. Can't do it. Beautiful pitches from our mobile race cam into the left-hander. Peter Brock putting a lot of pressure on Jim Richards, and Richards has looked in the inside of Bauer. Bauer's putting on a great show here, but as we've seen before, 10 laps in the Sierra at this sort of pace is just about enough for the rear tyres. So hopefully Bauer can keep it up as long as he can. Glenn Seaton slotting in there behind Brock as well. First nine cars covered by less than a second in qualifying, so we should be in for a good show for the first few laps at least. The year where we came to uh, Oran Park, 12 months ago, we had four drivers in the running for the championship going to the wire. Today, the championship resolved. That's already gone to Jimmy Richards, thanks to the race at Lakeside. But look at this action with Johnny Bauer doing a good job for the uh, Shell Racing Team. Dick Johnson's team trying to fend off Jimmy Richards. Richards all over him, and Bauer is uh, doing a bit of defensive stuff, trying to do the right thing. Brocky coming down right on the tail of Jimmy Richards under brakes. Mobile race cam tells the story. The exit to the turn. Richards trying to get himself down the inside of Johnny Bauer. Bauer almost scrapes the tail of the car on the wall as they finish one more lap. It's Rocky inside this time. And I'm surprised that uh, Jim's not able to maintain that gap down the straight. Oh, someone out in the dirt in a big way. I don't know whether let's swing around and see who we've got. Oh, it's Win Percy. Percy. Blimey, Charlie. Front left of the car looked pretty knocked around then. Thanks, Wet. <laughs> Bauer was saying he reckons the Sierra is just about up to its use by date. Five years in international competition, the things aren't getting any faster, so he's having to work very, very hard here. You see the car sliding all over the track. Oh. Brock has a look down the inside. More than a look. He's taken him. Thank you, John. And Brock's he's away, and Richards has a look up the inside as well. Look at Bauer get the hammer down. The Sierra is still a very quick thing in the straight line. Richards pulls out one, have a look, but he's not going to get him here. The dust still there from the Percy uh, runoff. And they'd all be skating a bit there on the uh, on the rubble as they make it into the left-hander beneath the Yokohama Bridge. 
Glenn Seek doing a good job. He's up fairly close to them in the Peter uh, Jackson Sierra. Look at Richards having a look down the outside of bow. He moves across. There's a bit of panel crunching going on there. Nothing in between it. Richards gets it back onto the island. Bow still maintains his position. Seaton tucks onto the back of Richards. There's Percy into the pits. Tire change. It's up the front where you'll we'll need to see what's happening because it's been pretty belted around, I think. Mandatory tire change there. And Richards down the inside of Bow. Yeah, that was a nice clean pass from Jimmy Richards' car. Not too good. There's one that's even worse. Colin Bonds, Caltech Sierra. It's actually, it's almost a repeat of last year. Rommel skating through the left-handed down at Goodyear. Now the two of them run side by side. Mobile race cam shows us the action. There's Richo on the inside. <laughs> Rock grabs top gear right at the bottom. Jim's in position. And, oh, look at all that glass and garbage yeah. down there. Oran Park drag race falls Nissan's way. In the meantime, the number two a Nissan GTR, Mark Scaife. The man that just about everyone was tipping in the closing uh, rounds of the championship to uh, become title holder for 91. But um, unfortunately, his luck went a little sour. Richards came on at Lakeside, and that basically locked up the title for uh, Jimmy Richards going into uh, today's grand final. Oh, and Jim Richards in trouble. So the number one car, the national champ Jim Richards, has pulled off, I think, on the entrance there to the, uh, the short track. Fred Gibson showing a bit of concern. Why not? A bit of smoke pouring from the under the bonnet of the Nissan. Richards out of the car. Ooh, some locking up of brakes from John Bauer. He almost goes straight ahead and does. I think he, uh, in fact, had a deflating right front that time. So that might well see Bauer to the pits for a tyre change. Glenn Seaton is able to hose off Alan Jones down the straight. And from this point of the track, well, they all start to work under brakes. Watch Alan Jones close up on Glenn Seaton. Out of action, stepping out of the car is uh, John Bauer, who has had an awful day. Thanks, John. Things will get better. I don't know that uh, my call was right there. I said there might have been a problem with the tyre. I think it's more like an underbonnet problem for the JB car. We take mobile race cameras down the inside and see you late, Pete. Watching Brock's uh, mobile Commodore the last few laps, there seems to be puffs of smoke trailing from the rear corner of the car, so you may have a problem there. But either way, there's no way he would have held that Alan Jones around here in a BMW M3. They're dynamite on this circuit. There's Mark Scaife getting through there. And this is Longhurst trying to close that gap all the time to Mark Scaife. Johnson gives him racing room. And Richards, of course, parked by the road here today. Well, both uh, Scaife and, and Longhurst in. Surprise, surprise. And they're only paying attention to one corner, so maybe a deflating tyre there. A bit of bad luck. He probably picked up a bit of the debris on the track. The track's certainly dirty today. And that looks like all it was. And if you look under the car, he maybe had an excursion off the track. But that'll drop him way down the order. Maybe the one that got away, Frank. Actually, Gibbs is surprisingly slow compared to the two uh, works cars. I thought he might have been a bit closer, in all honesty, this weekend to uh, Richards and Scape, but I guess it'll take a bit of time to get used to the car. It's a good move because he gets past Brocky. Mark Scape comes down through the gears. The crowd giving him a tremendous cheer as he exits Goodyear turn. Checkered flag at the ready. The 91 Shell Australian Touring Car Championship Grand Final goes to Mark Scape. Nose to tail as they come diving down the hill for the final time. The battle for second and third. Last corner, and it's going to be Alan Jones to pick up second here today. Tony Longhurst will take third, and Glenn Seaton will round off the four in the Peter Jackson Ford Sierra. I think Tom Smith from the Shell Company are ready to put the championship sash around you. A special thanks again to Fred and the boys and Mark for doing such a great job in the testing of the car early in the week. Thank you.